Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm going to show y'all how we came from this to this. So the first thing I had to do was remove the old gel polish. She have acrylic on a big toe. I did this acrylic on her big toe. This whole entire set. I did this set January 15th. And when I tell y'all <laughs> she had these babies on for a long time so I'm just using my sanding bit and I get these sanding bits on Amazon and they're on my Amazon storefront and when you're doing this with the sanding bit you don't want to keep it in the same spot because you can um, cause your client toenails to be um, like you could damage the toenails and it can be hot so you just feather it out pretty fast and not on a high speed right now it's sped up but not on a high speed so once i'm done removing the gel polish i'm going to go ahead and clip her toenails down because as you can see they grew out pretty long So with the acrylic on the big toe, I'm just going to refill it. With this being a refill, you want to make sure there's no lifting. So you're going to drill off any lifting um, around the cuticle area and make sure that it's a flat surface so you can apply the new acrylic. I'm using my cuticle bit just to go around the cuticle area. So if you watch any of my previous videos when I'm doing acrylic toes, I always say make sure your client has space to go underneath the toenail to clean it. And this is why. You see how I'm able to go to underneath her toenail to clean it? That's very important when it comes down to acrylic toes. You want to be able to see through the uh, clear acrylic or whatever color acrylic they have and be able to clean underneath the clear um, the um acrylic because remember because there's something on top of her toenail she's not always going underneath her toenail to clean it and a lot of times clients forget to do that so me being a nail tech every time my clients come for acrylic refill i always clean underneath their toenails because I feel as if that's very important. Look at all of that that's stuck under her toenails. If she was doing a pedicure, of course they was gonna clean underneath her toenails. But you have to make sure you're not on the tip area, you're not um, placing too much acrylic where they cannot go underneath their toenail to clean underneath their toenail. And if you're, if you're not cleaning underneath your toenail, I'm going to just tell you this, you're nasty. Because when you're taking a shower, there's nothing but like soap scum that's going underneath your toenail. And your tennis shoes, socks, all that just be dirt and dirty underneath your toenails. You need to make sure you're clean underneath your toenails with or without acrylic. Even if you have gel polish over your toes clean underneath your toenails before you apply that gel polish it's good to it's important to clean underneath your toenails that's why people feet be stank and be having ingrowing toenails because they're not cleaning underneath your toes that's important that's nasty if you're not doing it and this is why pedicures are very important to do girls women men like go get your feet done yes if you don't know how to do your own feet at home get a professional pay a professional to do your feet because you need to make sure underneath your toenails are clean and me personally i do this for every client no matter if they're getting acrylic on their toes or just gel polish on their feet i always clean underneath their toenails i put alcohol and i clean underneath it of course if you was getting a pedicure then your feet will be soaking in the water for a good amount of time and then you know i can really get underneath your toenails and clean it but 
I just do a little soft cleanup until they do a pedicure. So of course I'm using my Young Nail Speed Clear to do the refill. I just put a bead and I pat it down and I bring it and I brush it down just you know around the cuticle area and make sure it's flat and my sidewalls are clean. Now I'm using my 8080 grit nail file and if you want to know how to get a crispy shape, use the 8080 grit nail file and I promise you it's going to help. I'm using the cuticle bit just to clean underneath the nail and make sure the nail is very thin. This is another cuticle bit, but of course, if you see the shape of it is different. So I'm able to really get underneath the toenail and on the side walls and around the cuticle area. I get this bit from Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront because I get a lot of people asking me what kind of bit is this. It's on my Amazon storefront. I don't really know the name of it, but I know it's a cuticle bit and it's very flat, but it comes with like six or seven different kind of sizes of bits. So I'm gonna use my sanding bit just to smooth out the nail. Because this was a refill, it was not uh, so much I had to do to this toenail. Like I didn't have to do so much drilling and fouling. But um, if you wanna know how to do a set from beginning to start, you can go down and look at my previous videos. I have a lot of videos on acrylic toes. I'm using my Beatles base coat. You don't necessarily have to put a base coat on top of the acrylic toes because they already have acrylic, mostly on the natural nails, but I just do it anyways. The color I'm using is from Beatles. It's color number A407. And it's more so like a nudish pinkish color. I like it. Like this client here, she loved like nude colors on her toes.
I'm using my D&D top coat. So she did ask me to remove the hairs off her toes and I'm using these razors that I get from the dollar store and these are eyebrow erasers I think that's what they call but this is what I use just to remove the hairs I might try waxing I might wanna I don't know it's probably better if I wax the toe hairs it'd be probably a lot better like it probably won't grow as fast back. I don't know, I might try that. So once I'm done with that, I go in with this foot shampoo. I get this from Ulta. And you're just gonna spray it and I scrub the foot just to clean off all that acrylic and all that dust, any hair that was left over. I just clean it up, just give my client a nice little scrubby scrub. And to remove the soap, I just spray um, my alcohol and just come off. Or you could get a spray bottle with water. I'm pretty sure it's going to come off too. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. Bye.